This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Kerr Gunner. Bro, don't skip class, period, man. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and you're watching Fish for Thought. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if this is your first time here and this is my crested gecko Rapashi. She likes to say hi as well. Without further ado, Fish Tank Review. Okay. That arowana needs a lot more room and there's something wrong with his eye. Okay. <laughs> it, it can't even set itself up to eat the Dude, could you not have held the fish anywhere else in the fish tank? You had to hold it in the middle where it can't load up properly to get it. Arowanas need long tanks, not taller tanks. What you have is a taller tank. Not to mention, even if it was long enough and the right orientation for a arowana, it's still not a big enough tank. Even if it was a long tank, that arowana probably needs much more space than that. That's a full-grown arowana. Something wrong with his right eye as well. It looks cloudy. It looks like what a dead fish's eye would look like after a few days. Probably got cataracts. Oh boy, you messed this one up. Such a gorgeous, magnificent, mystical fish at the hands of this kind of guy. Wouldn't it be so much better if pets could choose their owners? That would be a game changer. Like less than 80% of people who have pets right now will, will still have pets because no one would choose them. No pet would choose them. Have you ever thought or considered of supporting this channel at all? If you have, Patreon is by far the best option to do so. Even $2 can go a long way with the power of crowdfunding and you get a lot of perks in return. So please consider it. Thank you. This poor guy. Okay, I still remember the day where I first laid eyes on this design of a tank and I thought, okay, that's going to be trouble. And I worked for the fish store that was stocking these designs. Safe to say, not many of these were bought. It doesn't make it any easier that the packaging of these have betta fish in it and sometimes even like garamis or angelfish. Like, are you kidding me? How do you put a full grown angelfish in here? I can't believe you've done this. Stop marketing your products to put impossible fauna in. Pet score submission by Christopher Redding. Not only do you have intricate features and lines throughout the scape, you also have filled it up quite nicely vertically, which is always a challenge. Light plants, but not too much. Hardscape, but not too much. I love the detailing at the bottom with the rounded pebbles, the river pebbles. And this creates a more spacious look, more open look for the aquarium. The fish have ample room to swim. Some plant attachments to the wood might improve this scape a little more. An attempt to hide the apparatuses running the tank, such as the filter and heater. Overall, I'm digging it 4.45 out of 5. Keep it up. Come feel it, I love that emote. We should definitely use that emote more with this series. Oh yeah, just line them up. I appreciate how, how this reflects nature. This is just pure nature at its finest. Just a stingray on top of a Bashir on top of uh, like five other Bashirs and some other fish and, and more Bashirs. Have you not seen a Bashir carpet in action in nature? It's the most gorgeous thing. Sarcasm aside, who actually finds this attractive at all? Rapashi, do you like this? Do you approve? I wish this was just a one-off, but if you've been tuning into this series, this is probably like the fourth time we've seen something like that. And it's not even the worst. By far, it's it's not the worst Bashir carpet. <laughs> Who knew that was a thing? Bashir substrate. I thought we were good with the fluval stratum with the ADA aqua soil, but nope. Sometimes we, we gotta go with the Bashir substrate. It doesn't grow plants, it doesn't grow anything, it, it just... It just abuses Bashirs. Wouldn't recommend this substrate for aquascaping. Would not recommend. Eden underscore scoots06 sent in this on Petscord. It's pretty artificial, not gonna lie. Straight off the bat, that's what I noticed. My favorite part of this whole scape is probably that it has okay natural-ish looking substrate. But I also gotta give you props because you did use plants that kind of mimic natural plants, real plants. The volcano though, shooting up the water. Hard for me to swallow, hard pill to swallow for me, um, but apparently there's seven African cichlids in here and six mystery snails. Stocking is quite limited. There's a lot of holes for your African cichlids to hide. It's a common problem when you're not overstocking African cichlid tanks for them to just have a lot of aggression issues and eventually just die one by one as the smallest cichlid dies. The next smallest cichlid gets picked on and eventually die, but there's better odds of them surviving for a longer period of time, getting along longer when there's so many different holes so people can not people. I think fish aren't people, Chris. Overall, gotta be honest, not my favorite tank. 2.8 out of 5. The only reason it's not lower is because you did try your best to get that natural look with the natural looking plants. You get some new plants. Hey, pond snails are hiding in them. 
bruh, this is always the case. I'm excited until I see that pond snail coming out of the plant. And the plant is already in the tank. Check out Girl Talks Fish. Check out their channel for a pond snail or pest snail like method to get rid of them and prepare your plants before putting it in your aquarium if you are experiencing too much of this issue. EUXD sent in this over pets cord. That is a gigantic mystery snail or apple snail. Love the dwarf sag carpet. The rest of the aquascape is all right. It just seems a little bit unbalanced. You can definitely plant around and on that piece of wood. Perhaps this is a guppy breeding tank. Overall, not bad. 3.75 out of 5. Keep it up. From an ad for a school. Somehow this is supposed to make me want to attend. Okay, well, I can't see the whole fish tank, but I mean, it doesn't look that bad to me. At least it's not overstocked with like 20 goldfish. I think there's an angelfish in there. There might be an attempt to keep some live plants, but they're probably dying because the substrate is not fertilized enough. It's a pretty big tank for what I can only see for an angelfish and maybe a few ditherfish. Overall, not the worst, but it's not filled all the way, so wasted real estate could be an indication that they're gonna waste your tuition <laughs> i would think twice about attending this school i don't know but if you're going there for like an ecology or environmental studies class maybe steer clear if it's business or like something not related to nature you could give it a pass they don't know what they're doing jay loris sent this in on pets cord i mean for the most part it's a clean tank it's not overstocked however it does have i think too few serpe tetras uh when you have serpes uh they tend to like to keep aggression in their own species and when you have only looks like four they will establish a sort of imbalanced pecking order you want a bit more of the same species of fish when that is happening and serbia tetras are known to be pretty fin nippy everything is pretty much artificial your light is also a little bit on the warm side of the hue not sure if that's the effect you're looking for but you can definitely look into getting like a cool led not like cool as in like that's cool bro cool as in like the temperature of the hue 2.9 out of 5 keep it up the secret bonus comment to this video is aqua soil. Real intellectuals use Pashi speak. Chris, that's boring. Chers, pure intellectual, 500 IQ, 7D chess. Rapachi, you have your own language now. What do you have to say for yourself? Jovan or Jovan Nikodijevic. I tried my best. Sent this in on Petscord. That contrasts with a beautiful red bed of fish and the green real life plants. That's hard to beat. I mean, come on. And then I see the hardscape with the Crips, looks like Crips, jutting out from it. That's beautiful. I love the way you embedded that. My third favorite thing is the moss on the left hand corner. The textures of that moss, just how natural it is and healthy it is, impressive. Some floaters up top, you got mixed substrate. That's kind of not clean. These two aspects are making your scape look less clean. All in all, a near perfect, beautiful bed of fish tank. 4.5 out of 5, keep it up. I just can't with this one. I mean, I don't really know what is happening here. Is that a DIY filter? Oh shoot, wait a second. Oh my goodness. I was so distracted by the external DIY filter crap and the red whatever beer bottle that is. I missed that this fish tank is overstocked to the brim with tiger barbs. Bro, that's... how did that happen? How? Why would you get that many tiger barbs? You are crazy, my dude. And I'm blind for not realizing that sooner. Holy cow, what is wrong with me? My excuse is that there's so many tiger barbs in here that it blended into the hardscape. I thought that was hardscape. Did you guys not think that was hardscape? Like, who's with me here? Was the first thing you saw the tiger barbs? Youth group leader. What was the funnest thing you did during quarantine? All the girls. I watched Netflix, lol. Me. I aquascaped. Everyone. Aquascaped? So I guess you could say I'm not like other girls. But to be fair, in all fairness, aquascaping is quite still a niche hobby. Like if you go on the streets and ask someone, not recommended, especially during COVID or if you're in a bad neighborhood or if the person is carrying a gun or a knife, don't approach. Ask if they know what aquascaping is. I don't think they'd say yes and give you a proper explanation. Once again, disappointed by OfferUp. You know, to this day, I, I don't even know what OfferUp is. I'm assuming it's something like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, but I've never been on it. That one is the most done out of all of these. And through all this chaos, only one thing stays constant. Squidward's house. This guy promoting having a beta in half a gallon next to a cold window with no filter. Doug in Fishland. I don't know this channel. I'm not going to go to this channel or I don't want you guys to send hate to this channel, but maybe some tips and advice let them know gently i mean doug you're not gonna last on youtube if you're going to promote this kind of stuff okay unless you shout really loud and obnoxiously during the intro and and keep that hype energy up then apparently you can do anything you want because that sort of behavior directly attracts people who have 
very little critical thinking skills. And you'll do fine if you have those features. I haven't watched your video, but as long as you shout and be obnoxious throughout the whole video, you're gonna have a very large following, even if you're abusing fish. Hey man, don't call out my favorite YouTubers like that. What do you mean? I'm not calling out anyone. In fact, it's funny how you assume that I'm talking about someone where I when I haven't dropped any names. If you can tell who I'm talking about, maybe, maybe it's true, I don't know. Hey guys, welcome to the end of the video and thank you so much for supporting this channel by watching the video through till the end. And I hope this video started your Monday off just right. If I could do that for at least one person, my job here is considered done. The secret comment of this video is pink gravel. Look out for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in the middle of this video. If you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one and don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rod from Carisiformes to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one, I finna gone. Three days without fur, I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang, so loyal, black tetra, go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.